I think it is safe to say that there is uh, little doubt about the therapeutic power of creating art. But what about the viewer? Can going to see art make us happy? A study by neurobiologist Samir Seki found that looking at a work of art can actually have the same psychological effect as the euphoric experience of being in love. Classically beautiful paintings, such as, for example, Botticelli's Birth of Venus, uh, resulted in increased level of dopamine. Meanwhile, more controversial or confusing paintings, like, for instance, Hieronymus Bosch's Garden of Earthly Delights or his other mystical triglyphs, developed less dopamine, but, interestingly enough, still created positive effect in the brain in the form of the heightened blood pressure in the brain's frontal cortex. Another study was conducted by a Yale academic, Paul Bloom. Researchers took two groups of three-year-olds and showed them a blob of paint on a canvas. Children who were told that the marks are accidental showed little interest in the object. Meanwhile, the ones who had been told that the splash of color was created purposefully started to refer to this object as painting. The study argues that what one knows about art is crucial in whether she likes it or not. What all scientists agree on is that when you observe a profound piece of art, you are making new neuron pathways in your brain and stimulating your own creativity and inspiration. This sense of being drawn into a painting is called embodied cognition. Viewing or inspiring art uh, can help not only emotional healing, but empower coping with depression and pain, but also to reduce inflammation in one's body. And this is according to the US National Institute of Health. Now, when it comes to contemporary art, it requires not only looking, but also analyzing and learning. And it is agreed that education in art nourishes our integrated sensory, attentive, cognitive, emotional, and even motor functions. All in all, developing appreciation for art may not instantaneously make you happy, but it may lead to some interesting self-discoveries and make you more reflective and self-aware, more contemplative and even more expressive. So welcome to Art Unlocked, where we will be doing exactly that, developing appreciation for art, understanding for art and breaking the barrier between the artwork and us.